everyone remembers that defining day in their life that just turned their world upside down. This is your day. By the title, you already know why we're here. So let's just get started. Let's just jump right into it, if you will. Grab a pen, piece of paper, pencil, crayon if you have it. Be ready to take notes. During my giveaways, I see a lot of people asking, hey, just give me that PlayStation 4. Just give me that PS5. And then they come with all these excuses about people being sick and how they want to give it to their brothers or their cousins or something like that. Now, I strongly believe that some of them are true. And then I strongly believe that some of them aren't true. But I can't decipher which ones. I just can't do it. With that being said, for the giveaways, this is just a PSA really quick. For the giveaways, I will only pick the people who win the giveaways. I'm not going to pick you just because you have a sob story. I'm sorry. And then I thought, why don't they have money? Why are they broke? Why are they financially struggling right now? I don't know why you are, but I have a solution. And I'm going to give it to you. You need to start a YouTube channel. Here's why. I'm going to give you the pros and the cons of starting a YouTube channel. Let's start with the cons first. Ryan, why start with the cons? Because the list for the cons is so short. Cons. One of the cons is you might get way too famous that you can't even go to the mall anymore. You try to go to pick up a shirt at H&M, maybe Express, pick up some socks and some shoes at Foot Locker. You can't do it. You're too recognizable. People love your videos so much that they would leave their baby in a stroller just to run and chase you down and say hello. That they would leave their freshly made Chick-fil-A sandwich with Polynesian sauce just to come and take a picture with you. Terrible, right? That's pretty much it for the cons. Let's talk about the pros. Money. So I've been doing YouTube for about two months right now and I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. With a thousand subscribers, you're able to monetize your videos. Ryan, what does that mean? I will tell you what that means. That means after you hit a thousand subscribers, the videos that you post after that, once YouTube says it's okay and they agree upon it, you can make money off of them. Meaning you can pretty much just add advertisement to your videos, like those little annoying ads that come up in the beginning you hate them now but they're going to be your best friend one day with money you're pretty much free to do what you want so while your parents are yelling at you saying that video games are not going to pay bills or you need to get out of the house that time you spend playing video games you could be making money off that time most of my videos take about 30 minutes to make and then about maybe an hour to an hour and a half of editing after that, and then I post it. So I've only done maybe two and a half hours of work to make a YouTube video. And then that's it. Now once I hit these 1,000 subscribers, ayy, that two and a half hours of work is gonna start making me money. So I'll be making money even when I'm not even doing anything because people like you are still gonna be watching my videos. The greatest thing about money is that money equals freedom. So if you don't like where you're at right now, this YouTube money could Take you other places. You want to get an apartment? Start a YouTube. Want to just go out and buy things when you want to buy them? Start a YouTube. Quarantine happens like right now. You could be using this free time to make YouTube videos and make money off these videos. The only thing you really need is you need to stay consistent. I try to post videos every single day. Now a couple days ago, I missed like four days in a row, but it's cool because before that I was posting videos every single day. And I will get back on that track. Get the people on YouTube familiar with seeing your face, hearing your voice. So even if they don't like your videos, they'll still click on one just because it's familiar. Humans don't like change, so they'll stick with something that they don't like before going out and finding something new. Psychology 101. If you look at all the big YouTubers like Jake Paul, Logan Paul, um, Jack Septikai, who else we got? Uh, Mark Blyer. They were just consistent and they made pretty good quality videos. So if you have a great personality, maybe you will want to go the Jake Paul route or the Logan Paul route. If you're great at gaming, go the Markiplier route. If you're great at, I don't know, man, 
sharpening pencils. Then make your own lane, sharpen pencils, and boom. 10,000 subscribers, now you're making like a couple hundred dollars every single month. You know what you could do with a couple hundred dollars every month? Do you know what you could do? I know what I would do. Sharpen some pencils. <laughs> Another pro is you're getting yourself out into the world. You're everyone has a creative gene in them. They have those creative juices. You're taking those creative juices and that mind and your personality and you're putting it out into the world for the world to enjoy. Putting yourself out there also comes with the celebrity aspect. Now you may just want to make videos and not really be recognizable, which is hard to believe because everyone kind of wants to be famous. Everyone wants to be known for something. So with your videos, you could gather some local fame, then you spread out, gather e gather even even more fame, and then you never know, you might end up on like a TV show or something like that. There are plenty of YouTubers who have ended up on TV just from YouTube. Lily Singh, she has her own show now. Uh, Liza Koshy, she has another show. Logan Paul, was it Logan or Jake? Which was the younger brother? Jake. Jake Paul, he was on Disney Channel. It's very, very possible. Even if you're just talking, just talk about something, maybe have a story time, and you can make millions. A great example of this is Swoozie, S-W-O-O-Z-I-E. The only thing Swoozie does is stand still, maybe he sits, depending on how he's feeling that day, if his knees hurt, and he tells a story, a story about his life. Millions of subscribers. Prime example. Another pro is that you gain confidence. Some people are like, oh, but I'm camera shy. I don't really like being in front of the camera. Well, do you like being broke? Being in front of a camera is not going to hurt you. And the great thing about being in front of a camera is if you don't like it, you can always just erase it and start over. Or with the power of editing, you can go in and just chop what you don't like and then put in what you do like. Add some little visual effects, maybe some text, and you're good to go. Making a decision to record yourself and make a great video will boost your confidence just from speaking out regularly every single day. Just turn on the camera, say what's on your mind, and your speech and your mannerisms, you become more lively, you become more personable. People will start to notice that about you. It is a great way to boost your confidence and your self-esteem. You will even start thinking better about yourself. A next pro is you get free stuff. Once your YouTube subscriber count goes up, you'll start getting free things. Companies will reach out to you with um, different ads and different, uh, I don't know, products, maybe clothes, sunglasses, an app that's coming out they want you to promote. And you'll get that for free. Free. Free clothes, free shirts. So you actually end up saving money from doing YouTube. Let's jump back to the pro of having money. Also with the advertisement, they'll pay you $10,000 to $100,000 just for a 30 second ad on your video. Just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I've heard stories of many YouTubers making that, making $10,000 just in a day. Just in 20 minutes making $10,000 just for saying, oh, I really like this mug right here because it says Mr. and it's made out of high quality clay and it makes the water taste better boom ten thousand dollars right there put it in my pocket give it to me getting something free is always the best thing and another thing you can turn around if you get something free and you don't really like it you can turn around and do a giveaway and just give it away to your subscribers great way to boost your following now ryan all of these are great points how do i do it which brings me to my next pro youtube is free Holy smokes. YouTube is absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything to use it. The only thing you need is a login name, a username, and a password. That's it. Other than that, that's all you need. Ryan, I don't have a great camera to make amazing videos like you. But you have a phone. Everyone has a pretty updated smartphone by now. That's all you really need. And on your phone, you can edit your own videos. So there's really no excuse. Ryan, I'm not used to editing. Download an editing app and figure it out. Editing is not hard. 
You just cut out the parts that you don't like, leave in the stuff that you do like, mush it all together, add your name to the front, add an ending, that's it. That's all the video is. Oh, add some music, some good music for some flavor, you know? That's all it is. If you have a phone and a laptop or a computer, you don't even need a laptop or a computer. If you have a phone, just, you don't even need Wi-Fi. You have like your data on your phone. You can make the video, shoot the video on your phone. I'm getting too excited. Shoot the video on your phone, edit it, upload it from your phone. That's all you really need is your phone. There's no excuse. Everyone could be making hundreds of dollars. All my subscribers should be making money right now. I shouldn't be the only one who's about to just make money and take over YouTube because that is my plan to take over the tube of you. Quarantine is a perfect time. No more excuses, guys. No more excuses. No more excuses. If you have any more questions, please comment them down below because I will be coming back to this video and I will answer every single question about starting a YouTube channel down below in the comment section. All jokes aside, guys, please start a YouTube channel. I mean, within a couple of months, you will definitely be making money. Just stay consistent. If you have the time to make a video every single day, even if it's only four minutes, just make that simple video every single day. Watch your subscribers grow, watch that cash start coming in, and then you look back on this maybe six months later and like, man, Ryan the God was right. And I'm glad I started a YouTube channel. Like this video, subscribe, bell notification. Yeah.